Let's settle for the details because residents of La and its environs are lamenting the no-show on the La General Hospital more than two years after a sword was cut for commencement of work on it. The facility, which was serving those in the catchment area, was raised down and it claims it was in a dilapidated condition. But two years after, the edifice has been converted into a park leading to agitations among residents. Here's a report put together by Manuel Kranting a year ago. Hospital. Let me at the outset thank the hard President Kufuado speaking at a ceremony on August 10, 2020, to cut sword for the reconstruction of the La General Hospital. This was after the old five-story facility was torn down in March same year for, among other things, lacking structural integrity. The new building was to be completed in 24 months. A year on, the land has been overtaken by weeds with no contractor on site. The facility, which was formerly known as the La Polyclinic, had for years served communities in and around La, Usu, Teshi and Nungwa. Since it was pulled down, residents here have grappled with the reality of traveling to other facilities to access health care. Sarah Okutu has lived in La all her life. Before they were going to demolish it, they came to call the, those around this community. They asked us whether when they demolish it, it would be okay for us. Because it's a new, it's, they want, we want a new hospital. So we agreed. But now they came to demolish the thing. And they even said they are coming to start. Up to now, no foundation, nothing. They even put up a signboard that the president said, and people are saying, thank you, Mr. President, for rehabilitation our hospital. But still up to now, no foundation. Just a few meters from the site, there's a raging conversation about the delay of the project. These are pensioners who used to frequent the facility. The impact, the impact is great. Because now, if we are sick, you go here, just uh, walking distance. You go to the polyclinic. Now either you have to take her to go to Kolebu, uh, 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 police hospital, 37, or private hospital, or uh, Lekma. And that one, you know, my, you know, you have to pay transport. You pick her. If it's serious, you pick dropping. Your money, your money, your money will go. That's the, the most serious impact on our lives over here. There's a lady here. Baba, oh, Nika, a DNA, a pet, a rush, no. She, because of us, I can lie at all. Come on, traffic near your mommy. Pee, 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 pee. Can you pee, 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 and I'm a book. Nego, Nika, be a name, no, and I will look at your children's and I can let the polyclinic. If I survive, they swear the Bible. What is the reason of swearing the Bible? Then they lie. They lie. Me all the time telling God that God is merciful. God is a merciful God. Other than that, that, one day all of us will go and you created a different uh, generation. Do you think government lied to you? Eh? Do you think government lied to you? Lied to me. And the hospital is there. They haven't built it. Why is it that you know that you are not coming to do it uh, at a very uh, 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 early uh, stage? Why should you break them down? Last one of my friends here, before they rushed down, she died. In the interim, most residents who cannot afford to travel to other facilities depend on the La Polyclinic. The problem, however, is that the polyclinic is severely constrained. We didn't have, uh, we don't have, we didn't have space to you know, relocate the machine here. Uh, we don't have uh, theater here. Um, all the specialties like pediatrics, uh, internal medicine, surgery, and uh, uh, intern, uh, what's the name? Uh, upset gyne. We don't have all the specialties here. Our bed complement is just about four here, as compared to the 167 bed uh, capacity that we had at the old site. We don't even have an emergency ward here, so we can't detain cases over 24 hours. You see, we are now preparing for an emergency. The impact of the situation goes beyond just the cost in transportation to other facilities. 66-year-old Ivy Bedema lives about 150 meters away from the old hospital. She lost her sister Henrita Bedema in January 2021 through a medical emergency. She believes her sister would probably still be alive if they got a bed in a hospital. Something because just last two months, my sister died because she too she have a heart problem and she's diabetic. 
So when we went to police hospital, they said there's no bed. So she has to be going every day to take her drips. Last minute when we went, she took the drip, and when she came, in the midnight around 2 o'clock, something happened when we took her to police hospital. By the time we rushed her there, she's gone. They're supposed to admit her so that they know what is wrong with the heart because she was complaining about heart pain. But not, there's no bed, so there's nothing they can do about it than to take care of her, treat her, and then come back home. So in the midnight, it started again. That's where we realized that something is wrong. We were, they rushed her to the hospital. It's too late. The doctor said she's dead. Supposing the polyclinic is there, they will rush her or they will leave her there till she recover. But there's no polyclinic, there's no La General Hospital again. So that's our problem. The government should do something about it. Beyond the impact on healthcare delivery, the demolishing of the hospital took away with it the livelihood of vendors who depended on the hospital staff, patients and their visitors to sell their wares. What an estimated cost of 68 million euros. The project was to span a period of 24 months. 12 months into the project, this plan is yet to be translated from the artist drawing board onto the ground. While government continues to give assurances of its workings to bring the project to fruition, the community and by extension the residents within the area are those who bear the brunt of a lack of proper health care. From here in South La, in Accra, my name is Manuel Cranting reporting for Joy News. Meanwhile, ranking member of the Health Committee, Kwabena Minta Akando, is accusing government of misapplying the funds meant for the project. Let's go to my colleague, uh, Parker Watson, who's been following the Health Committee members for this tour. Parker, what can you report? All right, it seems like we've lost uh, Chrissy Parker Watson, and he's been following the Health Committee uh, for this tour, and we will try to get him in uh, later in the bulletin. But let's go to the Ashanti region because let's go back to Parker. Parker Wilson, uh, you've been following the health committee members for this tour. What can you report for us? Maps, I have been to the ground and I can report to you that uh, the site is no different from a football park. What you see is only one chip of sand and one chip of gravel. Uh, portions of the site uh, has been overgrown with weeds and nothing going on there. I was in the company of the ranking member of health, uh, Honorable Kobnami Kandonam. I just want to engage him briefly on this. Honorable, what prompted for this visitation, sir? Yeah, um, the Honorable Member of Parliament for the constituency, that's Lad Dade Kotobon, has consistently in um, finding out from the committee whether there is any new development with respect to that particular uh, hospital. Because as far as I'm concerned, the um, agreement was brought to the committee and um, we approved it, came back to the plenary and we approved it somewhere in 2020. And so the demolition exercise um, 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 took place somewhere in March 2020 and the president himself went there in August 2020. So two years down the lane, the expectation is that if they have not completed, they are near completion. And you recall that when the minister responsible for health was being vetted for his second term of office, 
he also indicated that the project was near completion. So there was that kind of uh, contradictions and uh, confusions in the system. So myself, together with a member of parliament of the constituency and some members on the minority side of the health committee, decided to pay a working visit to the place to ascertain or assess the development so far. Unfortunately, when we went, um, as you have already indicated, it was nothing different from a football field. But, 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 but I mean, what's your, 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 your suspicion because you say that the loan agreement has been approved and are you expecting that some work uh, go on at the, at the site? What's your suspicion? I, I think um, I have the strongest conviction that the, probably the, the money has been misapplied. Misapplied? Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. I mean, because, you don't have any evidence to, 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 because, to back your claim. Because, there. you see, what will make any government after assessing money for two years what will make any government abandon the project whilst you have, a, you, have, you have assessed the money? You see, there are two things here. This is how we deal with parliamentary agreements or loan agreements when it comes to parliament. Before you come to parliament, all the feasibility studies must be completed before you come to parliament. So once we approve it, what you do is that you engage the contractor, mobilize the contractor, then you go to site. In some instances, work must even commence before the, I mean, the sword is cut. Okay, in this case, the president himself went to the site to cut uh, the sword. Well, there are two instances here. If they think, if they so think that they are unable to assess the money, what you do is that you come back to parliament. When you are unable to assess the funds, you come back to parliament with a different source so that we approve it for you to go back to site and come. And that has been done over and over again. I mean, but if not come back to parliament, come back to, so, so you think that they've be, been able to um, yes, secure for me, the funds? As far as I'm concerned, and there are records, who have approved the funds. Yes. And so they should be on site. So where is the money? Now, finally, you are the ranking on the health committee. What are you going to do together with okay. the MP for the area to ensure that the reconstruction is kickstarted? Okay, so there are a number of measures in place. Mm. As for me, and I must be very honest with you, the people of La has been exceedingly been patient. Mm. It, I mean, demonstration is overdue. It's 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 long overdue. Okay, we are talking about health facilities, and in the national capital, look at how strategic the health, the facility is. We this is Osu, this is La, this is uh, Cheshi, Nungwa, and what have you? Okay, so now the the MP for the area has five series of questions. We will also make sure that um, we will go back to the site there because. We think that any responsible government after this exercise may respond to the people. So we are waiting to see how governments will respond to our call today. And we will not relent on our efforts. You know me. We will pursue it so that there's a real commencement of the project. Thank you very much. So, uh, Mapito, that's the uh, member of parliament for Jabosto, Mr. Uh, Kandor, and the ranking on the health committee saying that there was sustained pressure to ensure the reconstruction is uh, kicked up. Thank you very much. That's my colleague, Chrissy Parkinson, and he's been having a conversation with the ranking member of the Health Committee, Kwabena Menta Akanda.